Hello, this is Julian from the 70s channel, T-Rex and Bowie. And uh, today was the first day that I've been downtown because I've not been out because the weather has been so cold that I've really been living quite a simple life, really. Um, I just taking my big dog for a walk and then bringing him back a couple of times a day we've been going out, but it's been so cold that I've been staying in mostly throughout January. I've been living like a hermit. It's just incredible. It's so cold that um, I've just been, you know, sort of like bedridden. <laughs> But, um, yeah, well, not bedridden, but you know what I mean, keeping myself warm with a duvet over me. And um, But today it is so mild that I thought I'd go out and I'd gone to my favourite charity shop and I've picked up quite a haul and some very interesting albums to show you. This is uh, All Time Greats by Roy Orbison. For £1.50, Volume 2. I tried to look where Volume 1 is and I couldn't see it. But I'm not really fussed. It's a good, a good album. It's um, in immaculate condition. Really immaculate condition. Mean Woman Blues, Running Scared, Love Hurts. Uh, Shadow Roba, I'm not familiar with that track. Fallen, I don't know that one. I'm Hurting, Blue By You. Pretty Paper, oh. Looks like Roy's had enough of Pretty Woman. He's now Pretty Paper. <laughs> oh, Pretty Woman is on there. Great. So that's a good find. My next one to show you is this Gene Vincent album. A really good album. Uh, it's on Capitol Records as well, uh, which is really good. Beep Up Balulu's on there. Little Lover uh, and um, Woman in Love. Uh, Blue Jean Bop. Yes, I love you, baby. I, I paid three quid for this because um, it is a good album. And sometimes you have to pay a little bit extra when you go in a, to a good album. Here's an album uh, for a pound. I do not know anything about this guy, uh, Jimmy Dorsey. But I got another Jimmy Dorsey album to show you. And the label was from the, the 1930s. And I figured that this is these albums are absolutely vintage. They're so vintage that um, they should be in a museum. They absolutely should be in a museum because they're that brilliant. Um, the label on the other one is different to this label, but it, it's, um, I think I thought I'd give it a go, you know, a pound. You can't argue really, can you? It's got Blueberry Hill on it and some more good, uh, I'm going to give it a go anyway. So moving on to the next album I've got is Charlie Pride. Does anyone uh, know Charlie Pride? Because uh, this guy is a black country and western singer and he sounds like Kenny Rogers and he sounds like all those guys you know all them guys um that Brooks guy I can't remember his first name you know the guy Brooks he sounds all all like all the country and western singers from Nashville Charlie Pride this guy here and he sings the Crystal Chandeliers which is a banger of a tune it really is a classic I can't remember how it goes. All oh, the crystal chandeliers light up the lighting on your wall. Something like that is brilliant. And is anyone going to San Atone? Uh, that is a fantastic song. Unfortunately, Charlie, and look at that, ladies and gentlemen, 50p. I thought I've got to get that. As a matter of fact, there were seven Charlie Pride albums in that charity shop. And I was toying with the idea because they were 50p a pound. Shall I get the lot? 
But, you know, I can't keep getting everybody's discography. You know, I can't go around getting discographies from Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, you just can't keep on doing it. I'm mean, running out of room, really. But uh, I picked up two Charlie Pride albums today. Uh, as I, unfortunately, Charlie lost his life to COVID-19. Um, not the Christmas just gone, but the one before. And he was, a, I think, coming up to 70. He was about 70 years of age, which was a real shame. But um, he's a great singer. As I said, he's a country and western singer. And he sounds like Kenny Rogers. This is a KTEL Get Dancing. Um, it's in immaculate condition. All these records today are in immaculate condition. They really are in superb condition. I won't get them out because I've already checked them. I got this one for 50p as well, and it's got some great songs on it. Um, I, it's got a track. Track four was uh, Goodbye Nothing to Say by the Javelettes and Nozma King. I did put that up in my channel. You can check the video of that out. But this album is in a much better condition than the one I had. I've actually got I've picked up the single of that Goodbye Nothing to Say. I've got it on single now. It's got Barry White on here, George McRae, and it's got uh, Dance to Kung Fu, Carl Douglas, which was the follow-up to Kung Fu Fighting, uh, Far, Far Away from Slade, which is really good. I picked up this one here. Um, this is 20 Greats on KTEL, and it's in immaculate condition. Uh, 20 Heartbreakers, uh, it's got uh, Gene Pitney, The Platters, Bobby V, The Shrank, Shangri-Las, and Roy Orbison. And I got this one for a pound. I was telling you about uh, Jimmy Dorsey. I got another one, this one here. And this is ab uh, absolutely vintage, it's for a pound. I can't believe how thick it is. Um, and I, it's just got a tremendous label on it from the 1930s. It's just a, such a interesting one. I mean, it's look at that, all these on it, which was recorded in March uh, 1938, January the 25th, 1938 to... March 16, 1938. Uh, I'm really looking forward to playing this, actually, because the, the thickness of this is so thick. And it's on a tremendous label and it's in immaculate condition. I think this should be in a museum. You know, the, I just thought, you know, it's going for a pound. I'm, well, why not, you know, give it a shot for a pound. Um, there's some Motown chart busters. Picked this one up for 150. It's got all Stevie Wonder on it and Marvin Gaye and uh, the Supremes and Jimmy Ruffin. The Commodores are on it. It's a fantastic album. And here's the other Charlie Pride, the other Charlie Pride one. And this has got Sanatone on it and Crystal Chandeliers. And then I picked up this one, Donny Osmond, which is really good. It's on the MGM label. I also got this one, Robert Palmer's Greatest Hits. And the Stone, for £1.50, and the Stone Roses, um, uh, the Complete Stone Roses for £1.50. And I picked up the Carpenters, Love Songs, which is really good. I'm looking forward to that. I brought this one in HMV, 80s Soul. And then I brought a sweet album, which I've not seen. This sweet album here, it's called The Lost Singles. But I've looked at the track listing and it doesn't look anything lost to me. Perhaps they're different versions, I don't know, but we're looking forward to playing that on the channel. So this has been Julian. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, my last CDs that I showed you, I didn't get these from a charity shop. 
I didn't get this sweet one from a charity shop. You don't get these from charity shops. And I, did, I didn't get that 80 soul one from a charity shop. I didn't get the carpenters one, but I did get the stone roses and the Robert Palmer one. So I, a very interesting selection there, quite a haul. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please subscribe to my channel, press the subscribe button and then press the notification and then they will let you know when the, I drop the next video because I'm, I'm dropping the videos uh, at a regular, uh, a regular, uh, cause I like uh, doing these videos. I love doing these videos. Um, and, uh, it's really good. I love music. Music has always been my thing. And so I love the sweet and I love Slade. Uh, but this is an interesting selection of songs. I'm really looking forward to playing that jazz for a pound, you can't, Jimmy Dorsey, whatever his name is, because uh, I love the label it's on, it's absolutely vintage. It should be in a museum. So press the subscribe button and the notification to let you know when another video is on this way. And um, drop a comment in, let me know what you think of the video and uh, the albums that I picked up today. Uh, have a great day and I'll catch you soon for another video. Take care.